In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Malipayong pista ka na tanan, the divine mercy. Our Lord Jesus is truly the source of divine mercy. And we all celebrate this mercy that we have experienced in Jesus in our lives. We ask in this Eucharist that we too will become persons filled with mercy, especially to our brothers and sisters. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by your spirit they have been reborn, by your blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The Word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was fallen. But the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the child. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. 
Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came. 
although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have, who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Those who have experienced mercy becomes merciful themselves. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia or nangaluya. Alleluia. Nabanhaw ang ginoo. Jesus Christ has won victory over sin and death. And this proclamation continues on today, the second Sunday of Easter. And our liturgy invites us to the words of the psalmist, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Indeed, ang pagkabanhaw sa atong ginuong Jesus is something that we are thankful for. And this is a manifestation of God's great love for us that inflames faith and trust and brings about peace. In our gospel today, according to St. John, it presents to us these two points. Una, ang nabanhang ginoo naghatag o kalinaw ngadto sa iyang mga tinunan in the midst of their fears and doubts. O ikaduha, and when their faith is restored and strengthened, they received, they are sent for a mission. Sa dihang ilang nadawat ang kalinaw sa ginoo, sila gipadala alang sa mission. At the beginning of the gospel, the disciples were afraid. Nahadluk sila after the death of Jesus. Mabitaw na nga, they were inside the door that were locked for fear. They were afraid to die like their master. Yet at that moment, whatever they believe in Jesus was set aside. Apan sa pag-abot sa ato ang ginoo, ang iyang unang gisulti kanilang tanan, Peace be with you. Ang kalinaw maanaa kaninyo. This is something strange. No? Atubangan sa mga tao nga nibiya kaniya sa dihang siya nagantus og namatay. Sa atubangan sa mga tao nga wala din ha sa iyang kamatayon, wala nagsuko ang ginoo. His message for all of them was peace. No? Maybe ang atong tanawon babasig ni Adto si Jesus, aron sila kasaban, aron sila bawsan. But that was not what Jesus did. He offered to them Peace. And what is this peace that the Lord is sharing to them? It expresses abundance, prosperity, and well-being. In a sense, Jesus came to them to give them wholeness with nothing missing, with nothing broken. Ang gihatag na kalinaw sa atong ginoo is a word of reconciliation. And mga kaigsuunan, we are in this trying time where many of us are afraid, are panicking or confused or sad because of so many reasons. Yet today and always, 
Jesus offers us His peace, His wholeness, His abundance of grace. Ang atong ginoo na geingon, Peace be with you, diha sa atong pamilya. Peace be with you in our communities and the society. Peace to all those in the front lines and to each one of us. Let us allow the risen Lord's peace to reign in us and be shared in those who are in great need today. And in that encounter, the fear of the apostles slowly vanished and they embraced again their faith in the risen Lord. Even si Tomas, nga nagduda, who doubted at first when he encountered the Lord, was able to say, My Lord and my God, akong ginuo o akong Dios. Even though at the beginning he was doubting, but in front of the Lord, he was able to say these words. Maybe mga kaigsonan in one way or another, some of us may have experienced doubt sa ato ang pagtuo. Nay usahay makapangutana ta o usahay di ta mutuo in some things in our life, and even sa ato ang pagtuo. But Jesus is telling us, here I am, experience my peace. And hopefully, our response will be the like that of Thomas, my Lord and my God. The disciples who accepted this gift of peace wholeheartedly and with their faith regained, they are sent for a mission. Sa dihang ilang nahinagbo ang ginuo nga nabanhaw o sila nalipay o nakasinati sa iyang kalinaw, they cannot but be sent for a mission. They are sent to proclaim the good news. Being a disciple did not stop there in that room where they encountered the Lord. They were sent to all the world to proclaim as Jesus himself was sent by the Father. O mga kaigsunan, our celebration of the Eucharist does not end here in the church. We are also asked to bring the graces that we have received in every celebration of the Eucharist to our families, to our neighborhood, to our workplaces, to our places of study and recreation, to wherever we are. Ang santos nga misa, dili matapos din hi sa simbahan. It should go out to wherever we go, to wherever we find ourselves. By our good examples, our kind words to each other, to those people who we meet, our smiles and encouragement to these people, we are sons and daughters of the resurrection, and we can show this by living an optimistic and joyful way of life in the midst of struggles. Pope Francis encourages all of us with these words, the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus, and with Christ, joy is constantly born anew. This year, 2021, we celebrate the 500th anniversary of Christianity in our country. 1521 was the year that the Catholic faith was received by our ancestors. 500 years have passed since the first Mass was held in our country. 500 years have passed since the first baptism. 500 years have passed since we have received the gift of the Santo Nino. This year is indeed a celebration of how the Lord has reached our land and imparts His grace and peace to all of us. Mga kaigsuunan, sa atong pagsaulog nining 500 years of Christianity in our country, balikan nato ang mga kasinatian kung diin atong nasinati ang kaluoy o ang gugma sa ginoo. The mercy of God that continues to, ex to be experienced in our lives. Aron hinaot paunta, at the end, we too will become people who are merciful. People nga kahibalo nga mo pasaylo, tungod kay kita mismo, di pasaylo, o nakasinati sa gugma, sa ginoo. The Holy Father describes us Filipinos 
as missionaries wherever we are. And let our experience of the divine mercy become our experience as well to be shared ngadto sa uban. Those who have experienced God's mercy and compassion will also become merciful themselves. Let this be our prayer sa pagpadayo na to nining atong santos nga misa sa atong pagsinati sa gugma ug pasaylo sa Ginoo. Hinaot paunta nga kita mahimong mapasayloon ug mahigugmaon ilabi na sa atong isig kaingon sa atong pagsaulog nining 500th anniversary of Christianity. Ang Ginoo nagahatag kanato sa iyang kalinaw, iyang gugma ug pasaylo. Let this be shared, starting in our own families today. Amen. Please all stand for the renewal of baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. Ang atong tubag, let our response be, I do. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried? rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may the Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Wash me, holy God, and I'll be whiter than snow. I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory, everyone. Alleluia, alleluia, alle, alleluia, 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 alle. Alleluia, I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory everyone. Come and sprinkle me with haste, O Lord, and I will be clean. Come and wash me, Holy God, and I'll be Whiter than snow, I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory, everyone. Alleluia, alleluia, alle, alleluia, 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 alle, alleluia. Holy Spirit. 
Sprinkle me with haste of Lord, and I will be clean. Come and wash me, holy God, and I'll be whiter than snow. I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alle, alleluia, 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 alle, alleluia. I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory, Come and sprinkle me with haste of Lord, and I will be clean. Come and wash me, holy God, and I'll be whiter than snow. I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory, everyone. Alleluia, alleluia, alle. Alleluia, 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 Alle, Alleluia. I sing glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, sing glory to the Holy Spirit, sing glory, everyone. Let us turn to the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, who plunges into the infinite ocean of his mercy that is greater than sin, evil, suffering, and death. In his loving mercy, we have victory, salvation, and eternal life. Let the response be, God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church, that believing in and experiencing the Lord's infinite mercy, they may always proclaim it to God's people. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For our local and national leaders, that, like the apostles, they may attend to the needs of our communities and work for peace, unity, and progress. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For those who, like Thomas, lived in doubt and fear, that peace and forgiveness of the risen Christ may strengthen them to face life's challenges and difficulties. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we may be immersed in the ocean of divine mercy and live as ministers of the Lord's peace and reconciliation. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they experience the infinite mercy of God in the heavenly paradise, we pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God, our Father, in Jesus, you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return, entrust our lives to your love and mercy, and serve you in our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those who have brought to new birth that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Atong himuon ang second collection alang sa Paris Pasual Council Operational Funds. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful Father, we continue to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed lives. We thank you for the vaccines developed. May they reach the arms of people, especially in countries with limited resources. Continue to guide the people in search of cure for this disease. We continue to pray for our health workers. Grant them health in mind and body that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all. May our concern for each other in the environment see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Keep your family, we pray, O Lord, in your constant care, so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles and by good works show dedication to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>